Welcome to my house. Why the heck are you on my porch? What would you like to consume? Chicken. Mega. Chicken me squeeze. Bogle. Bogle make mega squeeze. One bogle! Oh wait, no, I'm the cook. Oh. Daffy, I see you. I see you. Mashing time! You're gonna be so gooey delicious. What are you? There we go. It's time for the spatula. Chicken me nuggets, me mega chicken. Oh, I need it to go. Ooh! Oh, not in day. He come big. Hi, welcome to my show where I do things outside, even though this is like the second episode. So, anyways, you see that big pumpkin. We are going to use that pumpkin to make pumpkins. So, the recipes. Why do you even need a recipe for this? I just do random stuff, but because people were complaining about the last episode about not putting any recipes, even though probably nobody cares about the show. What you need for this first, a pumpkin. But we don't care about that. So what we're going to need next is two of the finest spatulas. See this one? I bought this one from Walmart a couple years ago. And this one I bought from Spatula City a couple months ago. And then over here... A nut cracker for crack your nuts. And then we're gonna need a potato skin peel. Don't fall, okay? I had to call my assistant. Actually, you didn't call me. I just saw it falling. Oh, okay, even though you're the one that really moves everything for me. Except for me, of course. But you're gonna need this, this potato skin peel. And after that, you're gonna need two of your finest rolling pins you see that well, just can, can you i i don't know just to stop moving like that okay this is kind of weird and, and then after that what you're going to need is an ice cream scooper because why the heck would you need that and then after that you're gonna need this i have absolutely no clue what this is for but i'm gonna use it anyway it looks very deadly and you're gonna need the biggest rolling pin you can find. And also, the smallest rolling pin you can find. So, after what the tools you should use, let's talk about the ingredients. So the first ingredient you will need is a pumpkin. The most orange pumpkin you can find. And then the next ingredient is evaporated milk. Yes, you will actually need a can of, of, of little tiny particles of evaporated milk. Because why the heck would you need that? And then also, get pure brown sugar. Because brown sugar won't kill you. And then, the ingredients everybody loves, extra virgin olive oil. Because... Everyone loves extra virgin olive oil. It's the olive oil that started my company. Even though it was made by great value. I literally showed it to the directors and they said that I was going to be the best. So anyways, let's go on to the recipe. Oh boy, I can take all this money for my cooking show. Oh, Have you ever had your money stolen? Or possibly taken away. Well then, if that's ever happened to you, you should now donate to the Frank and Me Eat Up Foundation, where we eat up your money. It'll be so great because then we will save your money by eating your money. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Huh? You do know that what you're doing is pretty stupid, right? 
Well, it's so that I can waste funds for when I get re-elected mayor for Cube Town. You do know that now everyone knows why you want money. Yes, that is pretty stupid. Uh... Join the Flank Meat Eat Up Foundation today. Ah, uh, ah, uh, me money bin. Ah, uh, my money bin so good. Oh my gosh, Juan. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, welcome to my cooking show. And so, uh, yeah, let's stall. Let's just move this money out of the way. There we go. So the first thing we need to do is get a sponge. You must soak it in. It must be so wet that it does this super cool effect. Ah, it's so beautiful watching it every time. But then we're going to need some extra virgin olive oil, specifically from Great Value. There we go. Then it will be all wipe and I don't know what the white home is. And then to scoop it out, use a spatula. Get, get it out. It's not getting out. Get the spatula. Not not the spatula, but the sponge out. Uh, there we go. And then you scrape it by using the potato peel. And then you get the big white pumpkin and just drop it in. <sighs> we put it in and now we're going to need some paprika. Just, just put some in there. Hot sauce. And then we put taco. Tine seasoning. I have no idea what the heck you would use this for, but let's put some in. Let's put some of that in there. Oh boy, this is looking so wipe. And then you get goomin. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. But then you just dump some of that in there. Mmm, this coming look out really good. And then. Spray it with some extra virgin olive oil. It's coming out to be quite appetizing. Mmm. Ah. That looks so tasty. So good you can't even see it. <laughs> then. Then you get some of this sweet and smoky. So beautiful. Just got to. Where's the, it's not coming out. And it won't come out. Ah, uh, well it's fine. We don't even need that anyway. We should get some of this. We should get some, some ground shoes. Yeah, that, that will be even more tasty. Dump all of that in. That looks super tasty, doesn't it? It looks like the most appetizing thing you've ever seen in your entire life. The final ingredient. Classic Ranch! Ah, oh, that looks so tasty. I can't wait to eat it in the end. Just gotta stir it all up. Looks like string cheese. This is like the most stringy cheese I've ever seen in my entire life. You know what? Just for fun because it makes it taste better. Tomato juice! <laughs> yes, that looks so good! Oh my gosh! You gotta, you gotta store it up to serve it to our finest customer. Because, actually I don't even think we have any customers, but this will be the best recipe we've ever made. And now I will be the first one to ever try it. Yeah, what was that? This is probably the weirdest, but also best food I've ever tasted. I don't even know why I screamed. But anyway, it's time to serve it to a customer. 
Chicken. Oh! I got some food. Oh! It's on the table. Oh! What the heck is it? It's, uh. I don't know what it is, but I made it. Oh! Okay, I will try it. Taste and see that the food is gone. <coughs> on to the next recipe. And so, yeah, that recipe was not as good. So now we will make it a second recipe. Warm soup. So first, start off with a little green tea. Tasty, isn't it? In fact, it looks the same. But we move on to the next. Classic ranch because everybody loves because we need it to make worms. Look at that. It looks so good, doesn't it? So then we just stir it up. Look at all that worms. It's so wormy. It's, it's, it's so wormy. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just so wormy. Look at all that cheese. And then, we obviously need some tomato juice. The tomato juice is stuck. Close the tomato juice. Open. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good, that's very good. And then, we need some mayo. For the finishing touches. Well, at least for some of them, but put one of this, some of this. There we go. That looks good. That looks really tasty. And then we just need a little bit of paprika. Spice it up. And then add a little bit of ground sauce. And once again, let's put that. And that's it. And then you just stir and stir and stir even more. And then you got yourself warm soup. Enjoy. Uh, it's ready to serve. Let's just add a little bit of salt to finish it up. And there we go. Oh, we also got to put something here too. And now it is time to serve it. To your customer. Hey, I got your food. It's better be good. I gave you a spoon this time because I wanted you to like it. Let's see. So, uh, do you like it? So, are you okay, so? Oh no, he's getting the chicken call! What is happening with my life? I have no idea.